Therefore I say to you, be not solicitous for your life, what you shall eat, nor for your body, what shall you put on? Is not the life more than the meat, and the body more than the raiment? Behold the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor do they reap, nor gather into barns, and your heavenly Father feeds them. Are not you of much more value than they? And which of you, by taking thought, can add to his stature one cubit? And for raiment, why are you solicitous? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They labor not, neither do they spin. But I say unto you, that not even Solomon in all his glory was arrayed as one of these. And if the grass in the field, which is today and tomorrow, is cast into the oven, God does so clothe. How much more, O you, O ye of little faith? Be not solicitous, therefore, saying, What shall we eat, and what shall we drink? And wherewith shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the heathens seek. For your Father knows that you have need of all these things. Seek ye therefore first the kingdom of God and his justice, and all these things shall be added unto you. Be not therefore solicitous for tomorrow, for the morrow will be solicitous of itself. Sufficient for the day is the evil thereof. We're not to worry. Actually, Padre Pio says, just pray and don't worry. God is merciful and he will hear your prayers. He will. It may not be in the timing we like. We may feel like our life is moving at a snail's pace, but at the end of our life, we won't think that. We'll think it went very quickly. So, we must have faith. The faith of Noah, the faith of Abraham. They never saw Jesus, but they kept having the faith, despite all opposition. Everyone around them just thought they were crazy, but there are patriarchs, there are fathers, and the father referring to in this particular passage is God the Father in heaven. And we can speak straight to God the Father, and straight to the Holy Ghost, and straight to Jesus Christ. All three of them, three in one, is the Holy Trinity. Christ says, you can only come to the Father through me, which is through Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. No one comes to the Father except through him. We have to believe we're baptized. We uphold the faith by our baptismal promises. And they're unto death. That's part of the Ten Commandments. But it's also... Our job to convert others. We don't just sit around idle, but we don't get over it, overly anxious about it either. We trust in God that He can do the work, but He's using us. He's using our mind, our hands, our little feet, where we go, everything we do. We can offer up to Him as the Blessed Virgin Mary. As you can see, there's pictures of the Blessed Virgin Mary on the wall. There's our Mother of Perpetual Help. There's many images there for you to look at. Um, the holy love image. There's the Christina Gallagher image. <clears throat> you sort of saw the St. Michael image with the scale. He's weighing the balance. The holy family with their hearts exposed. The holy face. These are all wonderful, wonderful Catholic images that we can use to draw us closer into our faith. May God bless you.